ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the English News Edition brought to you live from RTD channel coming up in this edition. So. And concerning the uh, in Somalia floods, uh, the Jewish military of the army some forces helping claims in bloodwin and on the international scene expropriation and punishment for those who uh, protested in Syria. Let's get into the details now. The situation is still critical in uh, Somalia following the floods caused by the overflowing rivers in the regions of Baladwin. The solidarity of Djibouti did not delay following the call for international aid launched by the Somali government. Uh, Djibouti launched a massive relief operation and relief was uh, set up by the Djibouti forces to deliver a full aid of primary necessity offered by the Djibouti government. Currently, uh, this uh, air bright continues to deliver on the spot uh, this gift which is composed in addition to food of first necessity but also mattress, blankets as well as uh, tents, uh, firefighters intervention uh, teams but also medical teams from the Ministry of Health are waiting to leave uh, Humbuli International Airport to be projected on the spot and to start operating within 48 hours. On the spot uh, nearly 1 million displaced persons remain homeless and destitute after uh, these floods. Uh, here are the images of this uh, disaster and the operation carried out by the uh, Djibouti uh, military. The city of Baladwin is uh, devastated uh, by the uh, flood waters of uh, Chevrolet River. In reality, it, is, it, it, it seems uh, that the situation is uh, much more serious than what the inhabitants have always known during the rainy season. For example, houses in, in the city center located at levels are not insignificant but also far enough from the river bed uh, to be affected by these uh, floods. In view of this dramatic uh, situation, the army some Hail 5 military command quickly mobilized a team composed of the Djibouti army forces as well as the Somali police. The latter managed uh, last week to evacuate more than 10,000 uh, people affected by floods uh, in Baladwin, Hir Shabili State. The rescue mission was led by Colonel Abdurrahman Rayale Hared, commander of uh, the Baladwin based Hill 5 uh, battalion, who called for help for the uh, victims. We are talking, uh, we are taking part in the evacuation of the Somali people to save uh, them from a flooded area and take them to a location near uh, the uh, Il Jale a military base uh, away from flooding, say Colonel Hared. As you can see, it has become more than necessity to use our transport vehicles. We have uh, used vehicles that can uh, access very difficult places to rescue and evacuate uh, these people. They need emergency help and assistance in food and water he added, according to the federal government of Somalia, more than 175,000 have been uh, displaced and more than uh, 400,000 uh, flood uh, victims in different uh, parts of the uh, country following heavy winds that have been beating the, ca the country's region since May. Residents of Baladwin are among uh, the most affected by the flooding on the Chevrolet River because of the uh, sabotage of some bridges already uh, dilapidated uh, leaving many homeless and without any source of sub assistance. Residents evacuated were moved to higher ground. The Somali commander of the Baladwin police, Mohamed Mauhalan, did not fail to thank the Djibouti forces of uh, Amisom for the rescue team dispatch to evacuate the affected residents. The force of the army the Somali police and in particular the Jewish troops who provided us with valuable assistance as you can see on the Korea say uh, Mr. Halan the Hill uh, Walal arm, army and vehicles help uh, some people from uh, the flooded neighborhoods and only their trucks uh, were able to access villages yesterday and the day before he added also according to, to an OCHA report uh, 246,000 people are at risk for uh, fl floods in uh, Beldua, southwest of the state, while in uh, Jubaland about uh, 28,200 uh, uh, people were uh, displaced by flood uh, that swept home farms as well as livestock. In the Baladwin region, more than 200,000 people are at risk of being hit by the flooding of the Chevrolet River after it breaks up, forcing many people to flee the city for higher, for higher 
areas. And still with the national news, the Minister of Defense in charge of relations with the Parliament, Ali Hassan Bahdon, participated from April 26 to May the 2nd in uh, Port Louise, Republic of Mauritius, at the Ministerial Conference on Maritime Security in the Western Indian Ocean and the Contact Group on Piracy of the Coast of Somalia. In his trip, the Minister was accompanied by a large delegation, including the Minister of Mo Maritime Affairs, Ali Mirah Daoud, in addition to the Republic of Djibouti, were also present at this important ministerial conference, the countries of the Union of the Comoros, France, Kenya, Madagascar, Mauritius, Uganda, Seychelles, Somalia, as well as Tanzania, but also the Indian Ocean Commission, the Intergovernmental Authority for Development, IGAD, the East African Community, the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa, and other organizations. At this meeting, several uh, topics related to maritime safety were discussed uh, at the end of the session. Two regional framework agreements on the exchange of maritime information and the coordination of, oper of operation at sea were signed by the ministers of five countries, namely the Union of the Comoros, the Republic of Djibouti, the Republic of Mauritius, Madagascar as well as Seychelles. On the start lines of the ministerial conference, the Minister of Defense, in charge of relations with the Parliament, Ali Hassan Bahdon, had a one-on-one -on -one, uh, discussion with the Prime Minister of the Republic of Mauritius, uh, Mr. Provin Junit, and uh, Mrs. Maya, uh, President of the National Assembly. The Military Police Academy, Dries Farah Abbani, hosted yesterday a closing ceremony for 170 Somali policemen, including 28 senior officers. Uh, this training was provided by the Italian Carabiners within the Negad Police Academy. The closing ceremony of this uh, training took place in the presence of Colonel of the National Police, Colonel Abdullah Abdi Farah, and saw the participation of uh, members of the government of Djibouti, including the Minister of Communication in charge of Post and Telecommunication, Abdi Yusuf Suge, the Minister of Women and Family, Mumina uh, Hassan Hamed, the Head of National Security, Hassan Saeed Khere, the Chief of Staff of the Djiboutian Army Forces, Major General Zakaria Shah Ibrahim, as well, uh, several senior Djiboutian as well uh, Italian officers. And during three months, Somali police as well officers, officers uh, benefited from a high level training and coaching provided by the Italian Carabiners, uh, represent uh, the commander of the Italian Carabiners, uh, Antonio Ignaz, and the Somali General uh, Saeed uh, Ahmed. The objective of this training was to enable beneficiaries to have uh, the necessary knowledge in various fields such as the control of the territory as well ensuring public security. Somali police officers uh, demonstrated their skills uh, to the officials present. The day ended with uh, a presentation of certificates to the Somali police and uh, the various uh, Djibouti structures from uh, the ranks of the national uh, police. And taking the floor on the occasion, the National uh, Police uh, uh, Chief, Colonel Abdullah Abdi Farah, did not fail to urge Somali uh, police officers to be uh, brave and determined, as well be patient, and to make a sacrifice to ensure security in the uh, country. We have just uh, spent three months together, and it is always difficult to say goodbye, but I hope we can see again in uh, your country. You must ensure peace as well, stability, said Colonel Abdullah. He, Abdi Farah, he also, he also asked young uh, uh, police officers to demonstrate self-sacrifice in the in the performance of uh, their uh, duties. Everything will be will now depend on your actions. He said, "It's up to you to remove the head in the hearts of Somali to restore uh, solidarity as well love between your brothers or sister." Has finally urged Colonel Abdullahi Abdi Farah. Another news, the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, has organized a three-day regional workshop in Kempinski Palace Hotel on data sharing and biodiversity visibility. The initiative came uh, to crown the IGAD Biodiversity Program, placed under the aegis of IGAD Executive Secretary Mahbub Mahalim, the inaugural ceremony of this uh, workshop. So the participation of the European Union Ambassador and the head of the Union of the European Union Delegation to the Republic of Djibouti, Adam 
Tom Kulash, the acting secretary general of the Ministry of Housing, Urban Planners, Will Environment, Rirash Hussein Rirash, and delegates from IGAD member countries. In his opening speech of the workshop, Mahbub Malin underlined the importance of those uh, foundations that aim to improve the image and visibility of the European Union, IGAD, and other institutions involved in the implementation of biodiversity program. IGAD, with the financial support of the European Union of 14 million euros, has implemented this uh, regional biodiversity program. The main objective of the so-called program is uh, to promote regional cooperation and integration in the environment sector. Its main guidelines include the conservation as well as sustainable use of biodiversity resource in the regions. The Press and Audiovisual Union celebrate World Press Day at a ceremony held this morning at the Press and uh, Audiovisual Union headquarters in Djibouti. The main uh, theme of uh, this uh, celebration of World uh, Press Day was uh, media, uh, justice and the rule of law. The representative of the Ministry of Communication, Abdi Adan Hadi, the advisor of uh, the Minister as well, the President of the uh, National Commission of Human Rights in Djibouti, Suleiman Omar Udin. After the opening of the ceremony, a large number of reporters took the floor and spoke about the importance of uh, this day. World Press Freedom Day celebrates uh, uh, the fundamental principles of freedom of the press access, the freedom of press around the world, defense, the independence of uh, the media, and pay tribute to uh, journalists who have lost uh, their lives in the exercise of their profession. May the, stick the third was uh, proclaimed World Press Freedom Day by the United Nations uh, General Assembly in 1993 following the recommendation adopted at the 26th session of the General Assembly of uh, UNESCO in 1991. It was also a response to the call of African journalists who in 1991 proclaimed a window week declaration on pluralism and independence of the media. The President of the Press and Audiovisual Union uh, Mrs. Asha Ahmed did not fail to recall the actions and the taken by this organization for the last two years and to recall the importance of the celebration of this World Press Day. The Ministry for the Promotion of Women and Family in close uh, collaboration with UNICEF has organized on Monday, April 30, a workshop on uh, the protection of children with uh, special needs at the People's Palace. Uh, this uh, meeting was uh, based on three documents that are uh, the evaluation of the uh, PASNET, the policy of development of the childhood, and finally the, the strategic uh, of protection and the child with specific needs. So the ceremony was attended by the representative of the UNICEF, the Secretary General of the Minister of Women and Family, the Director of the F Family, representative of the uh, various ministries. Uh, the, evacuation, the evaluation of this uh, plan focus on different areas to promote the rights of uh, the child in Djibouti, especially the most uh, vulnerable. Health Now, the Ministry of Health, in close collaboration with the City Hall and the Prefecture of Djibouti, continue tirelessly its large-scale uh, door-to-door spraying activities in neighborhood tree of the capital. The teams of uh, the Department of Disease Control at the National Institute of Public Health aim to reduce uh, the spray of mosquitoes, which is the main factor in uh, the transmission of malaria, and at the same time acts uh, on uh, the flies and insects. The Ministry of Health has simultaneously launched intensive prevention activities targeting the vector and are carried out by technicians from the Ministry of Health. Residents of neighborhood tree were pleased with the door-to-door uh, -door spraying activities carried out by the Ministry of Health in close collaboration with the Djibouti Town Hall and through these uh, interventions the National Institute of Public Health of Djibouti aims to provide appropriate solutions in terms of hygiene and reduce the impact and harmful consequences that can generate a possible epidemic like uh, malaria. And as part of uh, the participation in the, form in the tournament of the Union Arab Association Football Champions Clubs to be held in Djibouti from 5 to 6 May, three major clubs uh, are in the uh, running, including the Assas Telecom Club, uh, sponsored by the national operator Djibouti Telecom, as well as the champion team Benadir and the club champion from the island of Comoros. The first match will take place on Saturday, May 5, uh, tomorrow. At 
at uh, 6 p.m. at Gulet Stadium as Sas Telecom against the, the club Benadir from Somalia. And still in sports news as part of the school sports tournament season 2017-2018, uh, the high school of Kuzawa has hosted this Friday at while uh, 27, the final of the football tournament for institution Djibouti City for the high school uh, final. It was the Humbuli High School that won on penalties against uh, the uh, Dogli High School in a score of 2-0 to zero regarding the high school finals. So the PK-12 high school teams won the penalty shutout against the team of Djibouti uh, Lisi Dita after uh, a blank score of 0-0. Zero zero. It should be noted that the competition of the national school tournament of the inter uh, schools football football disciplines aim to create a team spirit in the football competitions. And on the international scene now in Syria, faced with the development plans and a, a new law, Syrian home owners must now approve their property belong to them. Hinde Ibrahim tells us more. In your law, Syrian homeowners must now prove their property belongs to them, but many refugees can't return home to do so. Many day law has begun a form of expurgation. A law based earlier this month has paved the way for this new construction shame. The legislation established that each district must establish a department tasked with repairing the respective area after development plan are to up owners of land, houses and apartments have 30 days to prove their ownership. But the problem is that many who are affected by this new law have left the country. They have no way of returning to Syria within the 30 day time frame. And often no relatives are left who could talk to the authorities on their behalf. So that's it for the news. Thanks for your attention. Sir.